So yeah, we have arrived in a very sunny, as you can see. Oh fuck, the camera skills are shit. Uh, yeah, very sunny Dorset this weekend for this year's BUKC Drivers' Championship of uh, the first half of the whole weekend. Thought it'd be a good just to get away as well at the same time for a couple days. The racing's on Sunday. Uh, we're doing a little test tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. We'll have a little mooch around town. It's sure as hell windy here. Literally, I've gone past that, that last club. That looked actually like to be quite sick inside. About three different, uh, three different bars and clubs. They just look like derelict. Probably the nightlife around is pretty sort of bleak anyway, but yeah, it's just like it's been completely wiped out. It's like pressing the hard reset button if there ever was one. It's going to just be like the big chain clubs and pubs and all the weather spoons and that that will probably be able to stay open. Oh, okay. short little walk around the town it's all right there's some castle in the background there i don't know what it is it's not a church but anyway i don't know what it is i went past it when i came in but uh yeah that was a little tour of dorset town a bit dead not gonna lie but probably get early night um, so i've got testing to do tomorrow before sunday so So yeah, it's Saturday morning, it's about 10 o'clock, sun is absolutely beaming. Um, I haven't got to be at the track till about 3, so I've got a couple hours to kill. But to be fair, I'll probably go and get some breakfast or something. Went to Greg's, thought I'd just come on a little uh, exploring thing really, in a place called Ham Hill. Uh, country park. It's bare hills though. <laughs> Just mental like how the world is round, yeah? And like, I don't know, just look at it from, sometimes from a high view. And you can never really see the end of it. that clay pigeon circuit um, nice and sunny out it's a bit windy though so yeah we're gonna go on in about 10-15 minutes I think so yeah I haven't been here for a couple of years Done. We'll just have to see what happens tomorrow, really. Felt alright, just my arms. So if you didn't guess from yesterday's testing, I found it quite difficult to so you couldn't really get in the groove. 60, I'd say 60 to 70% of it, you're on the throttle. And because of that, that reason has got to be, you have to be clean through every corner. You can't scrub any speed. You have to just hit every corner. It has to be right. It's 
very bumpy as well, the trap. You're just snapping oversteer the whole way around the lap, basically. I think heat one starts about half 11. It's a make or break, really, this thing, because you've got two heats and a final, and then a super final. So if you do well enough in the first two heats, you'll get through to the final. <laughs> Yeah, just come off from heat one, started fucking plum last, 30th, got up to about 14th, 15th. Yeah, a bit too much defensive driving, I think. And for heat two, I'm starting first. If I can keep keep the lead, then should be, should be all right. Finished heat two, I started P1 and finished in third. For the final it means I'm starting 17th. I've got finishing the top turn of that final to get into the super final, so see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Didn't get into the super final. I think I finished 16th, started 17th. Yeah, everyone's just real quick in this championship. There's no other reason for it. The top 30 in that race are covered by half a second. It's just, yeah, everyone's just quick. Some people are quicker than others, some people aren't, so. Now I've got two and a half hour drive home.